Hello and welcome back to Garing River vs Pokemon Platinum. I have just caught the third member of my team, Buzel, or Puddle as I call him. Time to progress on. Hello. Don't you dare go into the Valley Windworks. I got order to keep everyone out of there, not part of Team Galactic. But I'm part of Team Galactic. You're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try and get in. But I'm part of Team Galactic, can't you tell by my blue hair? Well, you do raise a good point. Okay then, but you'll have to battle me. But only because you got blue hair. I don't battle anyone who doesn't have blue hair. Alright, Puddle's first battle. Oh, that's so adorable. Yay, level up. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win with a Pokemon like this. It's just a cat. Well, isn't that just great? Getting owned by some kid. But you can't do a thing if I lock myself in with my works key. That's right, the other works key's not here. My cohort in the flower patch of the other one. You should go up to the flower patch to get it. Ha 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 In that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Kachink. Kachink. Well, shit. But I'm gonna go heal. Damn, my foolproof plan. You have the key. Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser. There is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Hmm. Well, must, this must be the right way to go. I bet the secrets are all in this vending machine. No? Okay. Damn. My stealth. <laughs> I failed at stealth. Aye, this is not fun and games, this is proper work, I tell you. We work hard, 9 to- what's the time? Midnight. Or 1, I guess, because I'm still working. 9 to 1, but that's it. I get 8 hours off a day. That's my sleeping time. Uh, no, it's too high level for me to be with Puddle. Fumi, you're up. What, what? Some brat messed up my job. Now I won't be able to sleep because I've got to do overtime. Team Galactic needs electricity for doing something big. Like, um, like, uh, give, give, give me a minute, I'll come up with something, um, like, like, air, air lifting your ego. Yeah, take that. Need a lot of uh, electricity to, to lift that, that big ego. Collecting electricity from the uh, Valley Windworks, that's our mission. Uh, thank you for telling me. Fumi leveled up. Faint attack. Oh, that's a good one. Let's get rid of Leah. Puddle leveled up. Yay. Pursuit. Sure. Yeah, why not? Water sport, quick attack, growl, and water gun. Not an amazing set of moves, but I suppose he's only level 10 now. I really don't like kids who... No, that's it. I just really don't like kids. Kids are terrible. I, I think you should all die out. Wow. That sounds harsh. Oh. Hello. My Pokemon can't battle anymore. They're gonna take away my Pokemon for messing this one up. And then... He looks around nervously. Then they're gonna cut off my bowl haircut. It's gotta become a saucer haircut. Just you wait, our commander will smush you. And not in a good way? What? Hello. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait. One of four commanders. How many commanders are we? Maybe between three and five. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one, because look at all of the horrendous things amidst these beautiful flowers and inc incredible Pokemon species. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. Now, well, let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. Uh, if I win then you die, and if I lose, then you die, and yeah. Oh. Or someone will leave. Who knows? Could be either. I have slightly silly hair. And weak Pokemon. Actually, I say weak Pokemon. About level with mine. That's a little bit worrying. But is probably not a problem. Worst comes to worst, I can just get Kira to uh, write Mars's name. Although, 
probably not her real name. Hmm. Wouldn't want to accidentally kill the real Mars if I ended up picturing the planet. Oh. That could be... That could be bad. Also, Fumi is poisoned. That's not good. What do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? Burning it. What do you think you're doing to mine? Poisoning it. Which of us is the villain here? Seriously, that's, that's a serious question. <laughs> Would you rather be poisoned or burned? Don't answer that. Uh, Perugly. Right, I will switch to Puddle. Because adorable Puddle needs the experience. Ugh. Why would Glamiao evolve into Perugly? And why would you call a <clears throat> Why did, would you call a Pokemon species Perugly? It's like, hmm. Well, we have a thing here. It's not very attractive, so what should we do? We should name it after its worst quality. Yeah, that sounds fair. Ooh, quick claw. Oh, it's level 17. It actually outlevels me. Maybe I should be. Like, I've not been leveling up. Maybe I, I should do a little bit of level grinding after this. Shite! I could be in trouble. Am I not trying hard enough at this game? Should I be trying considerably harder at this game? I may have just fluffed it, you know? I think I've just fluffed it. God damn. I think I came into this just with entirely the wrong attitude. Maybe not. Let's use this to cure the toxic. But yeah, I think I do need to start taking this whole Pokemon training thing more seriously. Because I'm perfectly fine until the moment that I have to, you know, face someone who's not crap. And then I just use all of my healing items and fall apart. Okay. Looks like that's all it can do, and that's not a massive threat, so let's just hit it, shall we? Okay, it's a bit of a threat. Okay, yeah, it's quite a threat. Pisk. Pisky, 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 pisk. Okay, it can do more things, goody. Pisky, 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 pisk. At least it's on fire now. But nothing I have can stand against it. Uh, Kira. Do your best. <laughs> Go on, kidder. Smash it with rocks. You have failed me, kidder. You failed me for the last time. Oh, you, you're shitting me. Oh, no, puddle. Oh, puddle. Quick attack. Come on, Puddle. Show me your quality. Come on, Puddle. Show me that quality. That was not showing me your quality, Puddle. Oh, this is not looking good for old Garen. Uh, Sienna, whatever. Oh, Pisk. Oh, this is genuinely embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. <laughs> Never again. Never again. I'm going to go do some freaking emergency training because holy crap. Also, I'm going to buy some potions because holy crap. Tectonic wants to learn Curse? No thank you. Yes, give up on Curse. No use to me. My Pokemon are higher levels, apart from Kira. Oh yes, actually that does remind me. Um, I said Kira would never get another chance, and that is partially because... Uh, Puddle is going to learn Rock Smash. Instead of Water Sport. Puddle and Rock Smash. Okay. 
Killer will never see use again, unless I do need the HM Butler thing. Anyway, um, do you remember we had a deal that I'd leave if I lost? Well, I'm back. Can I just sneak past you? No. Okay, let's try this again. I got you this time. Okay. So, Puddle gets switched for Fumi. Gets immediately toxic toxicified. And burn him. Nice. One more burny burn. Ooh, flame body. Good, good, good. Yeah, I get it. Badly poisoned, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, again, one poison, one um, uh, burned, whatever. Zubat, dealt with. Switch back to Puddle, like I did before, so that Puddle gets the XP, and then switch to Tectonic to do the deed. Razor Leaf. Right, what happened before was uh, she got a critical hit on Tectonic with a scratch and just knocked him out in one. Oh my god, that does so little. Oh, okay, alright, try doing some withdrawals. Now I got some potions and super potions specifically for this. Because clearly I've still not trained enough. Perugly is tough. Tough, 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 tough. Tufty, tufty, tough. Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? It's not enough. Not enough. Not enough when I'm just gonna keep sh throwing sharp leaves at you. Yeah, see what happens then. Sharp leaves away. Nice. Keep doing that. The additional defense from withdraw should keep me going a little bit longer. In Pokemon, I generally have the strategy of just get a high level and hit them with damage. And it's only because I haven't been leveling my Pokemon at all, basically. It's just been trainer battles. I haven't done any training outside that, well, apart from just now, but apart from that, this could be the finishing blow. Come on, finish him off. Her off. Yeah. Victory. Puddle level up. Tectonic. Nice. This can't be. I lost to a brat. Oops, I messed that one up. That's alright though. I quite enjoyed our battle. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. Seems quite obvious to me. Sharon, Charon, Charon. The genius even the boss recognize. Now, Mars, we should be going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. Guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Poof. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy no matter what. It was for creating a new universe, or so they claimed. Nothing they said made any sort of sense to me. I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck! Papa, you're stinky! Go shower now, stinky! Yeah, take her away again. I'm bored of her already. Thank you, trainer. You made those bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. The what now? Thank you, traveler. The balloon Pokemon will visit. What? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, balloon Pokemon appears in front of the Windworks. It's only a certain day of the week, and I'm not sure which day. I don't keep track of days of the week. I work every day. Could its appearance have something to do with the Windworks using wind-generated electricity? Who knows? Oh no. Ah yes, it is you, yes. I've heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I therefore came running. So the Team Galactic, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Over there? Are they behind this bush? Are they behind this ooh? Someone slid this tree in honey. <laughs> yes, definitely honey. Oh, you ran them off. Hmm, you are a trainer, but... Mm, very well, I shall investigate inside. Bye-bye.
Magnificent. Yes, yep, yep, yeah. Everything you said, it's all true, it's all true. So I checked the security cameras. You lost once and then you came back and beat her. Superb. Though you are young, you are quite a trainer through and through. Hmm. Yes, all the way through. Right from the tip of your hat to the tip of your shoe. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I've received tips that Team Galactic Hideouts in Eternal City. Uh, to there, I must be off. <sighs> all healed up, so it is time to ah harvest my berries. Of course, that is the that that is exactly why I'm here. But now that the berries are dealt with, uh, I should also mention it is Friday. Oh, hello. Who are you? You're a very odd-looking fellow. Although you, you got very thin legs, but uh, your 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 hair style, I guess, is is very nice. The side swept look. Hmm. Uh, how are you? D oh, it's F Floon. Is this Floon your name? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Ah, oh, you know, I bet this is the um that balloon Pokemon they mentioned. Well, I I guess I have no choice but to catch it. Okay, it's really low on health. So I should be able to catch it. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Catch it. 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 Yes! Whew. Balloon Pokemon. Because of the way it floats aimlessly, the old folk tales call it the signpost for wandering spirits, also known as the Child Stealer. Isn't it so adorable with its child stealing hands? Okay, I'm going to be up front because I think honesty is important in these sort of things. That took me like 10 tries. Because, it, probably more than 10 tries. Because I only had one Premier Ball. I wanted to catch him in a Premier Ball. And he kept escaping it. That's why I was so elated when uh, when it finally worked. I'm mentioning this because... Uh, well, obviously honesty is important. But um, also because I managed to catch it because I lowered its accuracy. And, like, it, it was not even slightly getting close to being caught, even on a sliver of health. But when I started using smoke screen on it, it made it easier to catch. So that is, like, almost definitive proof that lowering stats does make it easier. So, apparently so. But for this one, obviously, I'm using it in my team. That's why I went through so much faff to get, um, to get it in a Premier Ball. And I was torn on the name of this. I was going to call it Cirrus. And then it's like, no, no, I'm going to call it Far Wind. Because Far Wind, although it is most famously known on this channel as the name of Mine and Joel's ship in the Far Ages series, uh, the origin of the name is back when I was playing Guns of Icarus. And there are like loads of different kinds of ships. And one of them I named the Far Wind. And that's where it came from. That's, that's like, I, I don't know where I got the idea for that name, but. Um, Far Wind was originally a, like a, an airship, a uh, like a balloon ship. So, okay, I've got now four members of my permanent team. I've also got uh, Abra back out, as somebody's pointed out that Abra's teleport is a very useful ability. Hello. If you slather sweet honey on a sweet-smelling tree, Pokemon may be attracted by that sweet scent. I may also be attracted. I like to slap. Yeah. Oh no. H Hello. Hey, how about you and me battle before I go into a turn of forest forever and ever and ever? I'm Jacob. Go, Fire Horse. Uh, it's called Ponyta. Fire Horse. Oh wow. It actually have a tight matchup. Although the level is worrying. Yeah, I definitely need to do some training. I mean, that helped. That definitely, that really, really helped. And in fairness, this was like a single Pokemon. You tend to get, um, like, trainers. Trainers that have more than one Pokemon have, uh, ooh. Can I have a look? That's power 60, power 40. Um, yeah, trainers who have more than one Pokemon tend to have lower levels for the Pokemon. Whereas trainers that carry only one Pokemon is higher level, you know, just like with uh, with the player. But it, yeah, so that means 14 isn't the baseline, 14 is the peak. I heard that really tough Pokemon appear in Eterna Forest. I need to be more prepared than this, even if I burn them all. 
Um, I don't think there's anything here. No, I think this is roughly the same stuff as the um, the windworks. Yeah, Tectonic almost got demolished by a single bloody Pachirisu, so I'm going to have to go and heal. But that is enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more Pokemon Platinum soon, and I will catch you later.